Charlie the Ranch Dog by Reed Drummond, illustrated by Diane de Groot, narrated by me. Oh, hello. My name is Charlie. I live in the country. I'm a ranch dog. This is Susie. She is my best friend. We sure don't look much alike, do we? Susie, unfortunately, doesn't have the paws I have. Or the droopy eyes. Or the floppy skin. Or the big dangly ears. Susie's ears don't dangle. Never have. Never will. I try not to hold that against her. But then again, Susie sure can run. And dig. And jump. Boing! I've never been much of a jumper. Believe me, I've tried. And tried. And tried. And tried. The old legs just don't work that way. But all that stuff doesn't really matter anyway. Cause tall or short, slow or fast, tiny ears or floppy ears, there's plenty of work around here for both of us. The first thing we do every day is get out of bed early. Too early. Dark early. I'd better go wake up Susie. She's never been much of a morning dog. Well, I guess she was a morning dog today. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. The next thing I have to do is chase Daisy the cow out of the yard. Daisy knows she's not supposed to be in the yard. Some cows never listen. Well, I guess I'll let Susie go ahead and do it this time. I like to give her a chance to shine every now and then. It's the kind of dog I am. All righty. Now that Daisy's under control, it's time for me to sniff the porch steps. I've got to keep the critters out. Sniffing the porch steps is hard work. Up and down and up and down. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yup, all clear down there. It's a good thing I'm here to keep the critters away. After the porch steps are good and sniffed, I like to stop and have my breakfast. I can't be expected to do all this work on an empty stomach. Yum. Breakfast is my life. After breakfast, I usually go help Mama in her vegetable garden. Mama loves her garden. I don't really understand all the fuss. I'd prefer a bacon garden myself. But I go ahead and lend a hand anyway. It sure is a good thing Mama has me to help her. There's no way she'd get it all done without me. Yawn. It isn't even lunchtime yet, and I've already worked harder than most dogs out there. I think I'll just sit down and rest for a minute. I think I'll just... Just... Huh? What'd I miss? Oh, I must have accidentally closed my eyes for a few seconds. I'd better get back to work. Work, after all, is what I do best. I have cattle to round up, fences to fix, and fish to catch. I'm known for my expert fishing skills. 
Eventually, we make our way back to the house. Susie's ready to eat lunch by then. I usually go ahead and eat too. I wouldn't want Susie to have to dine alone. After lunch, Susie likes to lie down and take her afternoon nap. I usually go ahead and lie down too. I wouldn't want Susie to have to nap by herself. <laughs> Huh, what I miss? Oh, I must have accidentally closed my eyes for a few seconds. Uh, hello? Where'd everybody go? Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Rats. I guess they went back to work without me. Nothing else to do but take another nap, I guess. Wait, what's that? Methinks I hear the sound of approaching beasts. Daisy, no! Whew! That was a close call. It sure is a good thing I decided to stay home. There's no telling what would have happened if I hadn't been here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll lie down and rest for a minute. I've had a long, hard day of work. I just hope that Susie remembers to wake me up in time for dinner. <sighs> The end.